continue to read in Deuteronomy chapter 2 in the King James Version. Then we turned and took our journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea, as the Lord spake unto me, and we compassed Mount Seir many days. And the Lord spake unto me, saying, Ye have compassed this mountain long enough. Turn you northward, and command thou the people, saying, Ye are to pass through the coast of your brethren, the children of Esau, which dwell in Seir, and they shall be afraid of you. Take ye good heed unto yourselves therefore. Meddle not with them, for I will not give you of their land, no, not so much as a foot breadth, because I have given Mount Seir unto Esau for a possession. Ye shall buy meat of them for money that ye may eat, and ye shall also buy water of them for money that ye may drink. <clears throat> for the Lord thy God hath blessed thee in all the works of thy hand. He knoweth thy walking through this great wilderness these forty years. The Lord thy God hath been with thee. Thou hast lacked nothing." When And when we passed by from our brethren, the children of Esau, which dwelt in Seir, through the way of the plain from Elath and from Ezion Iz uh, Geber, we turned and passed by the way of the wilderness of Moab. And the Lord said unto me, Distress not the Moabites, neither contend with them in battle, for I will not give thee of their land for a possession, because I have given Ar unto the children of Lot for a possession. The Emims dwelt therein in times past, a people great and many and tall as the Anakims, which also were accounted giants as the Anakims, but the Moabites called them Emims. The Orims also dwelt in Seir before time, but the children of Esau succeeded them when they had destroyed them from before them and dwelt in their steed as Israel did unto the land of his possession, which the Lord gave unto them. Now rise up, said I, and get you over the brook Zered. And we went over the brook Zered and the space in which we came from Kadesh Barnea until we were come over the brook Zered was thirty and eight years until all the generation of the men of war were wasted out from among the host, as the Lord sware unto them. For indeed the hand of the Lord was against them to destroy them from among the host until they were consumed. So it came to pass when all the men of war were consumed and dead from among the people that the Lord spake unto me, saying, Thou art to pass over through Ar, the coast of Moab, this day. And when thou comest nigh over against the children of Ammon, distress them not, nor meddle with them. For I will not give thee of the land of the children of Ammon any possession, because I have give, given it unto the children of Lot for a possession." That also was accounted a land of giants. Giants dwelt therein in old time, and the Ammonites called them Zamzumims, and a people great and many and tall as the Anakims. But the Lord destroyed them before them, and they succeeded them and dwelt in their steed. As he did the children of Esau, which dwelt in Seir, when he destroyed the Orms before them, and they succeeded them, and dwelt in their steed even unto this day. And the Avims, which dwelt in Hazarim, even unto Azar, Aza, the Kaphtorims, which came forth out of Kaphtor, destroyed them, and dwelt in their steed. Rise ye up, take your journey, and pass over the river Arnon. Behold, I have given unto thine hand Sihon, the, the Amorite king of Heshbon and his land began to possess it and contend with him in battle. This day will I begin to put the dread of thee and the fear of thee upon the nations that are under the whole heaven, who shall hear report of thee and shall tremble and be in anguish because of thee. And I sent messengers out of the wilderness of Kedemoth unto Sihon king of Heshbon, with words of peace, saying, Let me pass through thy land 
I will go along by the highway. I will neither turn unto the right hand nor to the left. Thou shalt sell me meat for money that I may eat, and give me water for, mo for money that I may drink. Only I will pass through on my feet, as the children of Esau which dwell in Seir, and the Moabites which dwell in Ar did unto me, until I shall pass over Jordan into the land which the Lord our God giveth us. But Sihon king of Heshbon would not let us pass by him, for the Lord thy God hardened his spirit and made his heart obstinate, that he might deliver him into thy hand, as appeareth this day." And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have begun to give Sihon and his land before thee, begin to possess, that thou mayest inherit this land. Then Sihon came out against us, he and all his people, to fight at Jahaz. And the Lord our God delivered him before us, and we smote him and his sons and all his people. And we took all his cities at that time and utterly destroyed the men and the women and the little ones of every city we left none to remain only the cattle we took for a prey unto the ourselves and the spoil of the cities which we took from Aror, which is by the brink of the river arnon and from the city that is by the river even unto galid there was not there was not one city too strong for us the lord our god delivered all unto us only unto the land of the children of Arn Ammon thou camest not, nor unto any place of the river Jabbok, nor unto the cities in the mountains, nor unto whatsoever the Lord our God forbade us. Okay, again, long and long. We're probably going to go over today, FYI. There's a lot in this chapter, Sermon Upon Sermon. There's two points that we'll quickly go over. Verse 7 in chapter 2, For the Lord thy God hath blessed thee in all the works of thy hand. He knoweth thy walking through this great wilderness. These forty years the Lord thy God hath been with thee. Thou hast lacked nothing. Wow, this is the Lord God speaking through Moses, Moses telling the people of Israel that this whole time he's seen everything. He's been there the, and he's been there the whole time, the whole time he's been with them the whole time. So he knows everything that was going on. He knows the people who were worshiping the idols. He knows the people that were doing things that weren't try, weren't quite following under the rule of the, the laws of the commandments and the covenant. He also knows the things that they did when they would give praises and offerings, you know, to him, the free will offerings. He also knows when they did follow through his commandments, like this uh, generation, how they did follow through to, uh, to route the King Sihon and King of Og. Um, do they fully do some of that as told? Not so much, but they did. They still followed through once Moses told them, hey, why did you bring all this back now? Do with it this way. So that way we are still following the commandments of the Lord. And so they they did those things by giving the tenth to the Levites and, and doing what they had to do with the rest of the articles and items. Um, because remember, the whole camp, the Lord, the community was to be holy and righteous, just as the Lord who resides among them is holy and righteous. Listen to this again. He knoweth thy walking through this great wilderness these 40 years. The Lord thy God hath been with thee. Thou hast lacked nothing. Bringing past to present, the Lord our God, Jesus our Lord and Savior, has been with us day by day by day. He knows his children. He knows who loves him. He knows when we forget. He knows when we sin. I'm a sinner. I mean, my goodness, like just this past week has my mind been crazy. And sometimes I have to refocus on what the Lord has for me. And that's my guide. That's my rest. That's my peace. That's my mental health. You know, we the, you hear that a lot too, when it comes to uh, mental health, being able to talk and speak to and, and be guided by 
a living Lord, our Savior. Lord thy God hath been with thee. Thou hast lacked nothing. To this day, we, even we, for when we believe and we have faith, we have we don't lack anything. We can't say, well, I'm going through this and I have no idea what to do. And I and and this is trials and tribulations and such. And I don't and I, I don't know have I don't have anybody to speak to. Where do those thoughts come from? Those are distracting thoughts, also humanistic thoughts. Yes, we have humanistic thoughts and feelings, but we have a living God that we can go to at any time who also is there at all times. He know, not only does he know us, know us by name, but even when, he's, when we do wrong, he's still there. And we can ask for forgiveness. We can ask for guidance. We can seek the Lord with all our mind, all our strength, all our heart, all our soul, and listen for him and his answer. And a lot of times, and I, I say this because it's also true, a lot of times it's us and how we block things because we only want to hear one thing or we want to only hear one type of answer. We predetermine how things are Going, how we're going to be saved when, when the Lord does it, it's perfect and it's beyond our imagination. And then sometimes the Lord fall, follows through and provides us relief upon how we thought it was going to be. But do think about that in amazement, because not only can we not control the future, but the Lord our God knows our thoughts and our feelings, and He knows our reactions, and He knows how to take care of us. And if we're thinking correctly, we're thinking in the spirit, then guess what? He's going to, his word is true. He does not lie. He comes through exactly that way. So think about these things in our life and how committed our Lord God and Savior is, even when we do wrong, because we can seek forgiveness through him. Before we go on to our next point, though, what kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel? What does it make you think? 